Well, this is my uh, crazy thought on how to help keep cool. We're going to be going to Key West for three weeks, and we're going to be dry camping, so no uh, air conditioning. And I thought a nice fan to move the air. In our pleasure way, we have uh, 475 watts of solar panels and a 2,000 watt inverter, so running a fan during the daytime won't be a problem at all. So what I did was I took a little 20 inch box fan and I put two handles on the top. These are just like drawer poles. I drilled holes in the metal and I ran a, uh, a bolt through here with a big washer on the bottom just to help support it. And what I did then was I thought, well, how can I hang it from the ceiling or from the wall? It turns out that reef hangers fit here just perfectly. This, this piece of wood right here is the thickness of a door. So that gave me a great place to put a reef hanger. So I bought two reef hangers, and all I have to do is put them on here like this, on these handles I made, and then just put it like that. So now when we're sitting in the back of the RV, I can turn this fan on. That's on high, it's pretty noisy, or low, and, and move the air through. So it's just a really, simple easy way to add cooling inside of a RV if you're going to be parked with no power hookups so it just runs off oh and another thing uh, let me I have my uh, meter here okay right now I'm at negative 5 amps because the inverters on some lights are on so it's negative 5 amps and putting this on low I'm now negative 10, so I'm using 5 amps to run this fan, and with my uh, solar panels, even with not the greatest sun, I get about 16 to 20 amps. Uh, so I'm still adding power into the batteries and having cooling at the same time. Thanks for watching. Bye.